So my name is Emilia Sjöstrand. I am a long and triple jumper and I am a sophomore. Last year was definitely a good year for me, um, being a freshman and everything. But I came in January, so I missed most of the, or all of the boot camp we did, or all the build up training. So when I came this year, I knew that I would be better prepared for the season. So being able to do the whole fall training, going in, uh, a bit more confident this year as well because I had quite a good outdoor last year so everything has just fallen <laughs> into place where it's supposed to be and feels very good. What's up? I can't hear you. see anything what you're saying. I got you. I forgot you and your, the sun gets to your eyes you're like I can't see nothing. Yeah. So I was moving up there because I can't see very well like when it's this close but it'll be fine. Jamu's got video. Yeah. It'll go to my phone. I'll stay down here. Um, that last run up was pretty good, so wait another, shit, you guys got time, wait another like six minutes and then take your last, okay? And the biggest thing is, is just stay on top of your contacts down here, you know what I mean? Like don't get long, okay? Am I getting long? The last one, I feel like just on the way to take off, you were a little long, you know what I mean? So the, the move was right, you only got your, your toes on there, but just make sure that you stay in the push, transition on top of your contacts. Bop, 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 bop. The indoor season uh, was very good. It was way over my expectations going in. Uh, my goal for indoors was kind of to be more consistent over 13, and then it ended up being a lot more than that, almost 14. Um, I won both long jump and triple jump indoors, and I did not think I would win the long jump. So that was very nice. And then also being able to go to nationals indoor was very cool because my goal was kind of to qualify to nationals outdoor because it's a bit harder indoor. But to be able to do that was definitely something really cool for me and for the coaches and everyone. Okay. And that one in particular, you got a little room, so I want you to move back 10, okay? And then that 10 from, from 10 back is gonna be your first jump, okay? Just move back 10 for my first? Yeah. Because I moved you back earlier? Yeah, but we usually move back 50 centimeters for the last jump. Even if I'm just a ton of board. That's a, that's a good point. Yeah, you're like, saying what we usually do. <laughs> yeah. I want to move back more than 10 for my first jump. Okay. So right now you're at 3520. Yeah. Go to 3550. 3550, stay in your push. Patient through the transition. Okay. Um, so I am from Sweden and I would say that in Sweden track is kind of a big deal, a bit, a bit more of a big deal than it is here in America. And I've done track for I don't even know how many years. I started when I was six and I'm 21 now, so it's been quite a while. But I started because my brother did track uh, one summer, I think. So I kind of copied him and went into it. And I think as a kid, I was very energetic and I liked moving around a lot. So track was kind of perfect for me. And I did track and soccer together for like six years until I kind of had to decide. And I have to say that I <laughs> like competing more by myself than in a team. I guess that's everyone for themselves. But I really enjoyed it and it was fun because when I was a kid, I was quite good. And obviously it's fun when you're doing well. So I've just stuck through it for 10 plus years and it's been, it's been good. Big push. Push, push. And big breath. You good? Yeah. So look. Just stay on top of the contact. Okay. Execute it. Take off. Run and take off. Boom. Okay. I want you to move back 10. Okay. That was a big problem. It's only 10 centimeters. I'll tell you what. You're at 35.50 right now. Go to 65. Okay. Hey, 65, listen, 65, don't change anything. Run just like that, take off, okay? I think that's good. I want you to move back more, okay? I want you to move back a total of 25 from where you just went, ask for a clap, and let's go. Let's go. First jump, she's just really far over. 
not really timed up very well. <laughs> you I was direct when I told you I want this shirt, bro. What's the problem? What's the problem? He said, "What's the problem?" You funny. I was direct. I didn't even. So the shirt that I had on, I'm not gonna give you the shirt I had. I'm gonna keep it a butt. Directly speaking, you got five. That's the one that I brought. The other ones are not here. Was you ship me one in? You ship me one. We'll see. Yeah, look, look. We'll see. I that gotta get. No I gotta get. Bro. I gotta get authorization to make that happen. You feel me? Okay. What coach tell you? Yeah. It was, it was very, very flat. So now, in order for that run to work, like you gotta really stay in that push. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So you're at where you? Where did you run from? What's the total? Thirty-five ninety. Thirty-five ninety. I'm going to jam you based on that, but you can't reach. Okay? Come to 80. Come to 3580. Okay? You're going to be on top of it. You know that. Run the same. You're going to be on top of it. Get your feet down and take off and go to the moon. Okay? Hey, look at me. Trust your run. Don't reach. Keep trusting yourself, okay? If you learn anything from it. But now we just wait and let's be confident. You understand? You're gonna get your opportunity, okay? Get your hey, get your jacket on real quick, because I don't want you to get too cold. I know. When the approach is the problem, right? Yeah. Oh, dang man, that was stressful. Bro. <laughs> that was stressful, bro. <laughs> Look. <laughs> ah, dog, brother. What's up? Both Eve and Amelia advance. So that was stressful as it gets, because Amelia struggled a little bit to find the board, but you know, again, they, they know how to compete, so we're able to get things done because that looked a bit rough for a minute. Emilia! No, you're in. You're in. I've already figured that out. Put it in the holster like you mean it. Oh, I'm in. And you do that. Yes. Can you jump the same? Yes. But she had a better backup, I guess. <laughs> yeah. You guys are ninth, 10th. Hey, way to go. As we struggled through it a little bit. We'll get together. Since the last jump? But there's no mathematical way that you can get pushed out now. How many is left to jump? Hold on. Well, she's already ahead of me, I presume. Yep. She's already ahead. Yep. She's already ahead, and based on the field series, she's up. She's up. So they're already ahead. Nobody else. <sighs> Okay, check that. There's one more. Yeah, but, but I dropped to You can't. Then. Okay, hey. Oh my gosh. There you go. <laughs> Why do I need to make it so fucking complicated? You just need a little more time. Ah. It's all good. Good job. Oh, I can't believe you emailed it. That's awesome, right? That's so cool. Hello. Correct. I was like, I know this is going to so be in the third. I'm so stressed out right now. <laughs> You, you you just you just had to make it dramatic, didn't you? You just had to make it dramatic. Come here, baby girl. Congratulations. Good luck. Hey. First of all, go to the bathroom. I'll catch up with you. First of all, again, for the baby to do that, it's amazing. I'm so fucking proud of you. You. Last year, last year in that spot, you melted down. That's incredible growth. Okay, less drama in two days. That's a hell of a job. Mm -hmm. Hey, first place, 12th place, all the same fucking spot today. It don't matter. Congratulations, ladies. We're going to get you some playing tickets. Yeah. The ladies at this moment are having uh, about as great a day as they could possibly have. Um, we got started off with um, Osayo Morodian. 
uh, finishing third in her heat for the automatic qualifier in the, in the 100 meter hurdles, which is big time for her. Um, Eve Divinity, freshman, rose to the occasion and uh, jumped 721, uh, 621 in the women's long jump and finished ninth overall. Amelia struggled early, but rallied with her third and final attempt to get herself equal to Eve and finish 10th overall. At a meet like this, the marks don't matter, the PRs don't matter. It's just all about survive and advance. And right now we're Rachel! three for three with the ladies. Rachel! So we got one more coming up, Charlay is in the 200, and we're gonna try to make it four for four, but so far it's been a perfect day. Sure, uh, yesterday with the fellas, um, the guy started off with the hammer. Uh, Fabio Hessling is on his way to Austin, Texas, uh, finished top 12, uh, 12th actually, in the, uh, in the hammer. Um, Jamu Reed got himself through in the, in the men's long jump, which was big time. Um, on the track, nothing was, it was just a prelim, so Damaris Waters has advanced himself to the quarterfinal round, which will be conducted tomorrow in the 110 hurdles. Um, Cam, uh, Cameron Tarver in the 200, was, came in here C to 32, finished 28th, so he overperformed his projection, but he did not advance. Um, and Jeremiah Walker did not advance in the two or the four. Um, super proud of the way Jeremiah competed in the 200, though. He showed real guts um, after having a bad race in the 400. So uh, we didn't have a perfect day yesterday with the men, but again, the freshmen, the young people are, are rising to the occasion and showing that they belong here and they deserve to be in this competition with these people. It's the only expectation. It's the only goal. Uh, we don't work, you know, 11 months out of the year to not go to nationals. So conference championships was the start of our season. This is the mid part of our season and Austin, Texas, the final stop is, is the end of our season. And last year, uh, we didn't have anybody advance to the outdoor uh, championships. This year we have a handful and we're looking to add some more. We got the women's four by one coming up on, on Saturday as well. So got a lot more bullets to fire and it's, it's a lot of growth in one year. I'm super proud of the way everybody's handling themselves here. Wow.